Hello, Frank. How are you today? Hello. Good evening. Uh, my day was boring. It was boring. Why? Because I can't sleep well. Really? Because yes. of your job or because yes, of the... My job. I, yes, my job. I have to work and uh, mm -hmm. all day in the madrugada. Oh, during the, 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 the down. Okay. That was very difficult. So since yes. yes, you're working since yesterday, right? Yes. And tomorrow I believe that it will be the same yesterday. Oh, okay. That's very bad because you will be very tired. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello, Edwin. <laughs> Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi, Francisco. Doing good. Hi, Edwin. <laughs> How are you today? Doing good? Yes, being good. I'm great, thank you. Thank you perfect. for asking. <laughs> perfect, mm. perfect. I'm glad that you're actually doing great. So what we're going to do today mm -hmm. is that we are going to start right now with, we, of course, with you guys. Right? Okay. And we're going to check on, you know, some practices that we're going to do. Excellent. Okay, let's start here. Now, we had some practice for today, right? With the offline and all, you know, offline versus online marketing, right? Did you practice that today? Hello, Melvin, hello, Maria. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> okay, let me share here. Let's start working. Okay. Oh, remember today is Wednesday, so I don't know if you received the email that some of you are going to stay today. And we're gonna to have like 10 minutes for a practice. I, I, didn't receive, I didn't receive anything, but, but actually, you, mm -hmm. if I want to participate in, in, in those 10 minutes, I, mm -hmm. I have to agent my, my 10 minutes or, 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 or your guys are, are going to turn um, yeah, the, the administration actually, they they, they mm -hmm. set up that for you guys. They actually uh, mm -hmm. send the emails to you, mm -hmm. you know, because you are like, I think, 20 participants. Mm -hmm. right? So they actually set up this for you and we receive like the information on how many people we are going to have every... Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, exactly. Every Wednesday. Okay, y si uh, no necesitamos hacer nada, teacher, o sea, no quiero hacerle preguntas o no quiero asistencia. So in that case, if you don't need anything, that's okay, right? Okay. That would be okay, but you have to be sure that you don't have questions, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, Thank you, perfect. Teacher. You're Thank welcome. You. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So let's start then. I'm sorry for the dog. That's my neighbor's dog. It's yeah, always still lost yesterday. Me. It's very annoying. Yes. It's very annoying. And I don't know why they don't they don't do something. Okay. What about now? Can you see my computer? Yes. Okay. Yes. So today uh, it's a uh, video conference number ocho. Yay. It's speaking about everyday tasks. Right, and we're going to uh, continue working with a little bit of on, offline and online marketing, right? And we're going to do some practice with adverse of frequency as well, right? So mm -hmm. we were supposed to see some of the vocabulary right, that we have, you know, from mm -hmm. this screen, right? For offline versus online marketing, right? In the example that some of you gave us yesterday, Right, we have these type of strategies like we are using now during the COVID-19 uh, situation, right? So we're, we're using the different online marketing strategies, right? We need to know a little bit about that. So what do you have? Did, did you 
Did you try to get the answer for these definitions? Did you try to match the definitions? No? Yes, yes? okay. Melvin, yeah. which ones do you have? Or, well, let's, let's go ahead and do something. Uh, we're going to work right now, like, how many people I have? I have seven people. Hello, mm -hmm. we have Alan, Melvin, Francisco, Maria, and Raul, <coughs> and Edwin. Okay, we're going to work in groups of three right now. And we're going to compare the information that you have. Maybe Edwin has definitions that Melvin doesn't have. Right, so we can have more definitions. We can compare and add up more information, right? So we're going to do that, right? Uh, Francisco, did you complete this activity? No, I can do it because I, I don't have more time. Okay, no, that's perfect. They will help you because they know. They have okay. the answers. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go ahead and work in groups of three right now. <clears throat> Compare the answers that you have for the homework, okay? And we are going to help Francisco to get the answers, okay? It doesn't matter if you don't have all the answers. We're gonna have only five minutes and then we come back. Okay, let's go, let's just start. Let's, let's do this, let's do this. Let's go, let's go. Finish your homework? No, I. I... <laughs> Santo Padre. Okay. Jesus Christ, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> right now, let's do it together. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, number one is Billboard. Billboard Arbiz. Arbiz. How do you say it? Teacher billboard advertising or? advertising 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 number mm -hmm. one Me, okay I, I think number one is billboard advertising advertising okay. your product your product on large out, outdoor posters outdoor posters very good very good. Number two is... But don't tell them. Let's let's see if they remember. Let's see if they, they can, you know, guess maybe one. <laughs> Not at the copy. Okay. Edwin, <laughs> number two? No, I, I don't have the table. The I mean, the... the, the... You don't have it? No, and no. The you, do you have the screen that I can see and read? And guess know. which is the answer. And you, Raul Francisco? No, to I search in the book, but I don't know if. Can you please take a screenshot right now, Edwin? Yes, yes, I, I, I'm going to do it right now. Okay. There it is. Okay, you're a bad student. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Number Let's two, continue. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, the number two says that an internet advertisement model is which advertisers. I think it's billboard billboard advertising. What do you think, Juan Francisco? Uh, I, I have a doubt. Um, and the little paragraph and the, the green corner, it will be the answer number one, two, three. Sorry? Can, can, can you see the, the, the... You have to, to take the, the definitions in green? In color green, and put yes uh, in the the space. No, the yes the description yes. 
we need to find the, the some similar the, 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 okay the, the bill billboard advertisement paper clicking advertising viral marketing i believe that is a number one advertising yes. your product or large all outdoor posters to me it's for 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 number one like adam, adam said a company blog emails and the billboard advertising company me too okay in you, Alan? Yes. Me too, the billboard. Okay. Go ahead with the second one. An internet advertising model in which advertisers pay only when somebody clicks on the ad. Pay per click advertising, right? Yes, to me, it's pay per click advertising. Okay. So they it they only Osmin, can you hear me? Hello, Osmin. Osmin. Okay. So let's see what are some of the, the, the answers for the marketing strategies that you have. Did you get some of the answers? It's just Edwin here, Edwin and Osmin. What about the others? They left. <laughs> they... We can continue. <laughs> we can continue okay. with the class. <laughs> okay, we, we have three answers. Um, the, three answers, okay. Yes, okay, the first one is the billboard advertising, and the second one is paper, paper clip advertising. Paper and clip. The, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the third one, but we are not sure, it's a company blog. And the four is a social media marketing. We have, I, I, I had this course. Okay, well, let, let, let's see what we have, okay? Uh, can okay, you good. see, can you see my computer? Not yet? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Not yet. What about now? Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. There it is. Perfect. So we have here mm -hmm. some of the, let's see here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. We have this, right? What do you think is mm -hmm. number one? You had number one, I think it was correct. So what do you think is number one? Company blog. Billboard. Billboard advertising. Billboard advertising. Billboard advertising. Billboard advertising. Billboard advertising. So, can you read the definition, Maria? 
Advertising your product on large outdoor poster. Advertising your product on large outdoor posters. Okay. So that's what you have for billboard advertising. Okay. Who has number two? Right now, we don't know the answers. Let's see. Who has something different for number one? Number Everyone two. has billboard? Okay. Yes. The second is... Mm -hmm. Billboard yeah. advertising. Well, what's number two? Pay-per-click advertising. Raul? Pay-per-click advertising. Pay-per-click advertising. Pay-per-click. Can you read the definition, Raul? An internet advertising model <laughs> in which advertisers pay only when somebody clicks on their ad. Okay. An internet advertising model in which advertisers pay only when somebody clicks yeah. on their ad. Okay, very good. What about number three? Another group, because this group work a lot. Another group, let's see. Me, teacher. Melvin, uh-huh. Number three, a company blog. Company blog. What's a company blog, Melvin? A website with publishers regular information, opinions, etc., related to a particular business. Okay, very good. Nowadays, it's very popular, you know, to make reviews, right? Mm -hmm. To say if a product is good or is bad. Okay, good. What about number four? Another first. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah, social, social media marketing. Social it's, media marketing. Okay, what's that? Mm -hmm. Is using websites like Facebook and Twitter as a marketing tool. Okay, using Facebook and Twitter. What are uh, other very, uh, because Facebook and Twitter, yes, they are good, but what are others, you know, maybe in, you, uh, you in the media? Okay, YouTube. YouTube. Very good. YouTube. YouTube. Very good. Which one? TikTok. 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 Very good. TikTok is very good. It's better than Instagram yeah. to sell, right? Okay, Instagram, okay, very good. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, very good. What about number five? Email marketing. What? Email marketing. Email marketing. Email marketing. What's email marketing? Yes, using special strategies to get a high rank ranking position in search engines. Google, Engine. Yahoo, uh -huh. engines, engines. Google, Yahoo, Bing, Zip. Okay, easy, very easy. good. Etc. Okay, Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Those are like the most popular, right? The, have you ever, you know, go to your your uh, Google email and you always have advertisements on the top, right? Even though you pay for for Gmail, you always have advertisements there. Okay, so that would be email marketing. Very good. What about number six? Who has number six? Nobody? A form of direct marketing which uses electronic mails for information. Search engineer optimization? I don't know. Search? Search engineer. Oh, okay. So for email marketing, we also have six. Six and five. Mm -hmm. I think email marketing. A form of direct marketing. Number five is SEO. Number five is? SEO, search engine optimization. Search engine optimization. Yeah. Okay. We don't know, right? We are you know, looking at the answers right now. Very good. What about number seven? Getting internet users. What's that? Viral marketing. Viral marketing. Okay, when someone goes viral. Right, viral. Okay, very good. Can you please read the definition, Ellington? Getting, um, getting internet user to make her a product or service on their own by telling their friends. Their friends, like the their influencers. Friends. You know influencers? Right? Do you know that word? Yeah. Uh, influencers are like very popular people. They have like millions and millions of followers on social media. Right, and they make things viral, right? Okay, very good. 
What about number eight? Word of month. What? Word of month. Word of mouth. Okay, mouth. 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 Okay, mouth. word of mouth. What's the word of mouth, Maria? Recommend recommendation by satisfied. I don't know what they say. Satisfied. Satisfy. Satisfy. Satisfy oh, customer to potential customer. Customer. Very good. So recommendations, right? When you say people, oh, go to that restaurant because that restaurant is very good. Or you say, mm -mm, don't go to that restaurant. It's very bad. Right. That's word of mouth. Right, okay, good. Word of mouth. And what about number nine? Call calling. Call calling, okay, call calling. You make calls. Okay, with call, call calling, what's the definition? Oh, that's number nine, sorry. What's the definition for that? Um, yes? Trying to sell off to somebody on the telephone who is not expecting contact from you very good that's very common in the united states and a lot of call centers you know they do that they have people with cells so they call you hi this is a, i want to sell you this cell phone right or would you like to buy this uh, product right that's called calling you call people right okay very good take a look at the notes we have doubts about this and we have doubts about this right so let's see the answers right now. I know this is a lot of vocabulary, right? This is a lot of vocabulary, but it's good. So you can start, you know, with a lot of new information. Look at this, right? Number one is B, billboard advertising. Number two is C, to C. 3H, right? 4D, 5G, 6A, 7E, and 8F. So what is number five? Let's take a look at this. Number five? Search engine information. Very good. Search engine optimization. Very good. Very good. So that's what we have. Right, I need you to remember these strategies because we're going to use them in a minute, okay? I need you to remember these strategies. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? A lot. <laughs> don't worry, yes, we're going to use them. I need you to, I don't want you to remember the definitions, no. I want you to understand, for example, if I tell you, uh, Esther, what is social media marketing? Do you remember? Yes, marketing in uh, tools of Insta like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Very good. Very good. She remembers something. So she has like some connection to the definition. You don't have to remember everything, right? But you have some idea of what is this. Or if I ask, for example, uh, Raul, Raul, what is word of mouth? Word of mouth. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? Recommendation by a satisfied customer. Okay, it's a recommendation by a satisfied customer. What? When like you like a something. Influencer. Like an influencer. Very good. What is another word that we can match with influencers, for example? What's another strategy? That is very useful. Social media marketing. Social media marketing, very good. Or you can say viral, viral what? What's the strategy? Mm -hmm. Viral marketing. Viral marketing, very good. You see, so you remember, right? Very good. Let's continue, let's roll it. We're going to work here with some of these strategies that you know, right? So now let's suppose, right, that I know that you have your jobs. Uh, for example, Esther is a lawyer, Melvin works in a gas station, 
right? But let's suppose that you are going to have your own company, and right? you're going to have your business, right? Or if you are the owner of your business, which of the strategies that we work here, which of these strategies do you think you can use in your business, right? Let's think about you. And which are the most effective and which are the least effective? That's what we're going to talk about, right? Let's imagine that you are going to have a business or maybe, for example, Maria can think, okay, in Colegio Champagne, I think the best strategy for the school is this and this and this, right? So you can use it for your business or for the place, your workplace, right? So we can have two, right? Two options. For example, um, let's say Esther, she's a lawyer and she says, mm, I want to create my own company for lawyers. Right? I think I'm going to use this strategy because it's very effective or I think uh, word of mouth is least effective and so on, right? That's what we're going to do right now. Is that clear? No? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Only Melvin, what about the others? Do you have questions? We are going to talk right now, only talking. We're going to say which are the strategies that you think are good and which strategies you think are bad for a company. It can, you can invent a company or it can be the, your workplace. So I can think about what are the best strategies for English Corporativo, right? Is it Facebook, right? Is it viral marketing? What, it, what, is, what are the best strategies, right? That's what we need to do. Is it clear? Because we're yes. going to talk right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's start working here. We have 12 people and we're going to work in triads right now. Let's work here. Oops, sorry. Okay. Let's start working. Let's join the groups so we can start working here. Copy the questions, take a screenshot so you can have the questions available. Take a screenshot. Very good. Let's go. Let's join the groups. Let's continue working. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Osmin, Corina. Osmin? Osmin, let's go. Is uh, the the CEO strategy mm -hmm. the most effective? Is the first question. Yeah, because uh, the CEO uh, have all how all uh, about media, uh, Facebook, and Google. Social media y encierra, de... encierra todo, pues, encierra todo, el CEO encierra ah, todo. Sí. Oh. It globalizes everything. It globalizes. 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 Mm -hmm. And then, I think, but I don't know, what do you think? Uh, I I'm agree with that because uh, in the CEO, uh, we can... CEO or SEO? SEO. 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 We can develop 
many strategy or many process to uh, search engine optimis, optimis, optimization SEO. Okay. SEO. Okay. What's that? Do you know what is that? Search. Do you work with that? Uh, um, for example, in my in my my work, I don't know. Um, um, for example, say um, in Maria, uh, social media marketing, in cold calling, in search engine optimization. Optimization. Yeah. Optimization. Good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Optimization. Optimization. Yes. Very good. And, and you, Maria? In my work, use uh, email marketing. Um, I use uh, I don't remember ah, Twitter um, social media social media social media social media, media. media marketing mm -hmm. uh -huh, social media don um, mm -hmm. el number one is a uh, billboard al uh, Advertising. Advertising. advertising only. And Maria, do you think they are they are effective or do you think they are not effective? Uh, the billboard advertising? No. It's not effective. So so. Uh -huh. Okay. It's more the soci social media marketing. It's so it's very good. Effective. It's very good. It's very effective. Yes. Okay. How many likes do you get on social media? What What social media do you use? Only Twitter? No, Twitter, Facebook, in Instagram. Oh, I'm going to follow you on Instagram. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what 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 do you say? I am going to follow you on Instagram. You know what you say? The way I say you yeah. on Instagram. Okay. Olivia Champagne. <laughs> En Facebook, en Instagram, en sitio web, how do you say? Website. The web website. The website. website. Very good, Elito. Online. Very good. Mm -hmm. Only. Okay. In my, in my, my case, in my work, uh, defective uh, website and social media, Instagram and uh, Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. Twitter. On Twitter. Yeah. Oh, you mentioned Twitter. famous. It's Twitter. very famous. Oh, yes, yes. It's, it's very effective. Is websites. Website yeah. is very effective. Very effective. Twitter is not effective for business in El Salvador right now because it's only about politics. Yeah. about the president <laughs> yeah it's not good anymore yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's true yeah. <laughs> you're, you're totally right you're totally right <laughs> okay yeah. so i think okay. we're going to go back right so we can talk <laughs> okay. okay thank cool. you you're welcome you. very good you did a great job very good let's go Thank you. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a little sleepy, but I'm here. <laughs> Go to your bed. No, oh. at, at, 10, <laughs> at 10, 12. <laughs> go, go to bed. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's share here what we got. What did you discuss? Tell me, tell me the conversation. Now, in this time, right, you can ask questions, people. You can ask questions to your classmates, right? What is the best, the, 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 the best strategy? What is the most effective, right? Or what do you use in your company? 
Let's see if we can have a conversation in English. Let's start. Who wants to start? Okay, I want to start maybe. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Hey, we, we were talking about with Sandra Corina mm -hmm. that probably in general the most effective strategy to, to use in a company or, or, or in a work it's the social media, the websites, and that kind of stuff. Okay. Why? Uh, because it's, it's attractive. It's, mm -hmm. it's quick to read and quick to share. And it's simply maybe, I don't, I don't know how it's work, but we, are, we, we was talking about that and maybe the 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 least effective mm -hmm. was uh, is a is a newspaper no is a, the oh, radio okay. the radio the newspaper and the radio okay no the newspapers in so in 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 the case of sandra corina the newspaper is is one of the best strategies that they have in on in 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 her work because because they she works she works on where university of el salvador you know everybody all the guys all the guys are is looking at the newspapers when when it's a star the, i don't know how is how is the word recrutation or i don't know the application process. The application process. The application okay. process. Okay. Maybe okay. In, in, in some cases, the newspapers can eat, but the list is radio and posters. Okay. Radio and posters. Okay. Very good. Okay. I'm going to be sending all the, you know, the information here to all of you. Okay. Very good. What else? Who has something that is similar or different to Alan and Sandra Corina? Mm -hmm. Yes, Raul, I see you want to talk. <laughs> yeah, uh, the strategy that I think is social media, but the most, the most effective is SEO because uh, because this strategy and globalize uh, mm -hmm. all this all this medium mm -hmm. uh, social network YouTube oh. uh, uh, I see that this is um, the most effective. Includes all the information, includes YouTube. What else? Uh, Google, Yahoo. Google, okay, Yahoo. Okay, very good. And the uh, last effective, the least effective is um, for me, the newspaper and in the email. In the email. The least effective is the, the newspaper. Mail marketing. The mail marketing. Mail marketing. Yeah, I don't read that. Never. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Very good. What else? What else? Nothing? Carla Gabriel? I think the best strategy is the social media marketing mm -hmm. because you, you can publish um, a great content, content on your profile. And also, you can publish advertisement and okay. show uh, 
can show many um, I don't know. <laughs> what do you don't know? Tell me. Eh, mostrar como, como más anuncios, no sé. Algo and show more advertisements. Ah, and show more advertisements. Okay. In English, you can say advertisements or you can say ad. Right? You have two options. Right? Ah, okay. I put, I'm trying to put everything on the chat so you can have the written version of what your classmates are saying. You can say advertisements. It's a, a long word, advertisements or ads. It's the same, right? Very good. And the last person who wants to speak, who wants to speak English right now? Uh -huh. Nobody wants to speak English? That speaks uh, Espanol? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ellington, you're very happy today, so. What do you know, Edith? <laughs> okay, hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, hello. In my case, um, um, Maria de Jesus, mm -hmm. and you, your, best, your business in College Champagnac. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, she say um, social media marketing and billboard uh, advertise, advertising um um word word of mom okay uh, oh, no website website ah, okay Web <laughs> website <laughs> <laughs> this is where, this is uh most most effective uh, uh she say um social media marketing and instagram i don't know remember <laughs> okay <laughs> and less effective uh, Twitter. <laughs> the less effective is Twitter. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, okay. I say Billboard Alberson. Oh, sorry, sorry. Be okay, see, sí, yes, Billboard Alberson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in my case, um, in my in my business, uh, in my company. A social media marketing and in number uh, and first uh, websites for example uh, public uh, the product for the page you publish web. okay and, and page web um, for example uh, Curacao oh. uh, this is effective um, and less effective um, I don't know called calling Call calling. Call calling. Call calling. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Very good. It's important that we actually have, you know, that you can talk some ideas. It, hello, Surma. So it doesn't matter if they are, if, if you know how to speak, but look at the chat. You have a spoke a lot. Right? Look at the chat. That's a lot of information that you have there. Very good. Just remember that when you're speaking, you need to have a complete idea, right? Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement, right? Every time you talk. Very good. Now, let's continue. Let's continue talking about marketing. Now, we're going to work here. And let's take a look at this exercise. We're going to do this very quick with all of us together right now. We have these. Can you see it? Can you see my computer? Yes. yes. Okay. It says here, study the comments below, and we're going to match the underlying words or phrases to the meaning on the right side. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So look at this, right? We have number one is pay-per-click advertising is a low-cost method of targeting. This is the word targeting potential customers. So which is which do you think is the best option for the word targeting? Mm -hmm. We have words here, A, B, C, D, E, until H, right? What do you think is the best option for targeting? 
Now, we already know what's pay-per-click, right? Do you remember what is pay-per-click? Yes. yes, okay. Yes. For example, when, when you are playing Candy Crush, right? when you're playing Candy Crush and you lose, right? You lose, then you get uh, like a video or something. Right? So you have to wait <laughs> and then you have to wait. And if you click on that video, the people are, you know, they are getting money for that video, right? Because you click on it. Right? So that's pay per click, right? So what we're going to do is that we are going to look, you know, for the words that are underlined. In this word, we are going to match it with one of the definitions here, right? So what is the, the correct definition? Now, we, are, we don't know right now what is the correct definition, right? So what I want you to do at this moment is that I need you to take a screenshot of this exercise. Please take a screenshot right now because we are going to use it. Okay? Yes. Are you ready? This, okay. Yes, very good. it's done. Okay, very good. Remember the words that are here. These are the words that we're going to use. Now, what is the best way for you to know the meaning? Because right now we don't know the meaning, right? So what would be oh. the best way that we're going to do? Very simple. Since we don't know the meaning of the words, Right? What we are going to do is that we're going to use Google, right? And we are going to look for the word. We are not going to look for the translation, right? But we're going to look for, for example, it says targeting, right? We're going to go here and we're going to put the word and look at here, it says meaning, right? So we're going to get the meaning of the word target, right? Can you see this? Yes. Okay, very good. Now that you can see this. And then, mm -hmm. right, you are going to get also, right, the pronunciation right, of the word and the meaning. Select as an object of attention. So this meaning is going to help you, right, to answer this exercise. But you have to do it quick. So we're going to do only we have eight people. We're going to make the groups right now. We'll tell you what you're going to do. Give me a moment. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, group number one is going to be Carla, Gabriel, Maria de Jesus, and Sandra Corina. You are going to have number one and number two only that okay group number two is alan javier ellington and Esther. you're going to have number three and number four okay only these two number three is edwin juan and melby you are going to have number five and number six and the last group is Osmin, Raul, and Sulma. You're going to have number seven and number eight. That's going to be it. Then once you finish, you're going to share with all of us all the information that you're going to have. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? 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 Okay, very good. Clear. Okay, it's clear. Okay, very good. So now, just let me go ahead and has the attendance very quick. Give me one second here. We're going to see the attendance a little bit quick. It's already uh, 8.50. Sorry, we're going to switch to Spanish, okay? Let's see here, Esther Maricela. Yeah. Esther Maricela Orellana Maradiaga. I'm here. Okay. Raul Francisco Marquez Argueta. Present. Eh, Adali, Sandra Verónica Herrera Vanegas. Adalilian Hernández de Salmerón. 
Osmin Alexander Hernández Campos. Osmin. Osmin. Nahir, ok. Ellington Antonio Fuentes Reyes. Present. María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes. I'm here. Hello. Alan Javier Ardón Rivera. Present. Sergio Alexander Martínez Nieto. Uh, José René Ábrego. Miguel Orlando Morales Baños. Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada. Mayra Noemí Cardosa. José Antonio Renderos. Juan Francisco Ayala. Present. Zulma Patricia Donis Colato. Zulma Patricia. I think she was there. Okay, thank you. Eh, Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda. Here. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Here. Sandra Corina Miranda Maya. Sandra Corina. Present. Uh, hello. Mm. And hello. Melvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Present. Okay, thank you so much. So after this, we're going to go right now to the groups. I will. Do you remember what's your number? Yes? Remember, you have the word underline, right? For example, number seven and number eight, you have game or exposure and you have ROA. So those are the only two words that you're going to look for, okay? We're gonna have five minutes right, so we can come back. Okay, let's do it. Please, let's do it together. Please, huh? please, I'm sorry, I, I, wanna, I have one, uh, a question. Yes? Um, Roy, in the eighth number, mm -hmm. what do you mean, Roy? That's what you're going to do right now. That's your homework right now. Eso es lo que vamos a averiguar ahorita. Uh -huh. That's what you're going to do right now. Right now, we don't know the meaning. We are going to learn the meaning, like we did with the other activity. Right? We are matching the definition, so we get mm -hmm. more vocabulary related to marketing and strategies. Okay? okay. Yeah. Yes, we are going exactly. to ask to San Google. <laughs> exactly. And the definitions that we have there. So see what matches okay. best. Okay, very good. Let's just start. Let's just start. Okay. Fatima, please join the group number one. Let's go, let's go. Fatima, Osmin. la pantalla a la parte de chatear abajo donde está silenciar el video participantes chatear chat uh -huh. video participants chat sorry teacher <laughs> <laughs> aquí tengo yo la just... la el screenshot para que la there tira. you are perfect what are we looking at tell me Oh, hey, right there. <laughs> <laughs> eh, las primeras serían, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Number one and two. Mm. Yes. Um, mm. 
What is the meaning of number one and two? But let's not take a look at the pronunciation and the meaning, right? Let's take a look at target meaning, not the translation. Maybe it's the potential, potential, I don't know, how do you say teacher? No, the D, little, little D, potential customer? Customers, very good. Number customers. one, customer. I don't know, what do you think? Potential. I think it's... But it's the same. It says pay-per-click is advertising a loss, it's a low-cost method of targeting potential customers. So we cannot say of potential customers, potential customers. Ah, okay. ah uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe B. B. Uh -huh. Okay, what is B? Directing, Directing. marketing, activities, Activity. work. Okay, targeting, very good. Focusing something, right? You say every day, my target is to sell $100. Mm -hmm. okay? So everything that you do is towards that. Okay, very good. Very good. That can be the answer. Very good. Continue working. Okay. Email marketing allows us to do... Ay, no. Estas palabras sí me están enchivolando, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, it's better. Así son las trabalenguas. That's better. <laughs> allow us. You say it? Allow, allow, allow us. Allow us to be okay. to better customer loyal loyalty loyalty loyalty. The thing is, Maria, is that they are new words, right? They are new words. What I want you to do is to have more vocabulary, new words, so you yes. start learning more information. Mm -hmm. So you say allow, allow. 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 And then you say allow. 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 And then allows us. Allows us. Allows us. Very good. Email marketing allows us to build customer loyalty. Mm. Can I say it? Customer loyalty. Email marketing allows to build customer loyalty. Very good. <laughs> you see? <laughs> yes. uh, maybe it's a email marketing. I believe that is. Questions? Okay. Okay. No. No, teacher. Thank no? you. Everything okay. is fine? Yes, yeah, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to send you right now. Um, Antonio. Antonio is coming. So I'm going to put him here, okay? Okay. Do you have the answers? Yeah, I, I have a dude. What's your dog? Uh -huh. In the seven, seven uh, order, oration. Seven sentence, uh huh. Sentence. Okay. Yeah. For my, for, for Raul. Uh huh. And the, uh, the answer is uh, which more people? Mm -hmm. I think I think this is correct, but I think I'm I'm using creating potential customer in the the other okay a a is is correct too. 
Letter A is, is correct too, creating potential customers. Okay, maybe. Maybe. What do you think? I need, I need to select one. Mm -hmm. and, uh, when we select it, mm -hmm. there's more people. Gain more ex exposure. Exposure, okay. Is, is, is that experience, eh, no, exposición, como que es más conocido o algo así. Mm -hmm. Gain more exposure, yes, it's, it's like you are more recognized, right? Exposure is that you are there in front of everyone, right? So when you are, for example, when you are in social media in El Salvador, right, you go to Facebook or you go to Instagram, for example, let's think about someone famous in El Salvador, of course, right? If you think about, what? Who? Alvaro Torres. Okay, if you think of Alvaro Torres, what comes to your mind? What is the business of Alvaro Torres? Singer. Huh? Singer. Singer. He's a singer, okay, very good. So music, very good. What if I ask you, what if I will tell you a person here in El Salvador? Let me see. If I, if I mention Luciana Sandoval, for example, what comes to your mind? What, what is the business that comes to your mind? TV. TV, very good, TV. And what is on TV? What does she promote on TV? A program, right? Yeah. A TV program. And if I mention to you, for example, uh, Willy Maldonado. TV. That's TV. And what's the program? So we need to associate the, the things that we see, right? And, and let you gain more exposure to things, right? Okay. Now, right now, I know they are new words. So I need you to go ahead and just try, you know, try to think of uh, the meaning of this, okay? We're not going to be experts tonight, just you no know, one by one, okay? Okay, very good. I think we're going to go with the others, right? To see what we have. Are you done or do you need more time? I don't. I, 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 I have uh, do. A doubt, uh huh. A doubt. Okay, tell me. What's no, your doubt? Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's right. No, it's, um, the answer is is uh, e. Hmm? The the answer is the uh, letter E. For what? For the sewing. Oh, right now, we're, that's what we're going to see right now. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, that's what we're going to see, okay? Okay, that's what we're going to see with the others. Don't worry. Okay, let's, let's go. No quiero que se preocupe. Ahorita estamos tratando de conocer el vocabulario. El vocabulario nuevo, and we need to practice with the vocabulary, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Si de hoy se acuerdan mañana dos palabras, that's good. All right, that's very good. So don't worry. Let's start. Let's continue working with the others. Hello? 
No. Hello, hello. So what are the answers? Hi? It was a really tough exercise. Yes. Yes. Difficult. Yes. So hard. It's a hard. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I was telling uh, I was telling Sulma's group, Fatima, Sulma, Antonio, that if we remember at least one or two words from this exercise, that would be good, right? Because they are difficult words. Nietzsche. Right? <laughs> Nietzsche, right? What's the pronunciation of that? What's the pronunciation in English? Like the salsa group. Huh? Like salsa group. Like the salsa group. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. no. Okay. No, maybe. Nach. 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 Okay. So. Nach group. Nach. So. Nach. 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 That's what you think, Nach? Nach. Remember, Nach. remember Nach. he has there the you know, the, the pronunciation in Google, right? Okay, very good. So let's see what are the possible answers for these, right? What are the possible answers? What do you have, group number one? You have two words. Group number one, are you here? Yeah. Yes. It doesn't matter, guys, if we make mistakes, okay? I don't want you to worry. This is practice. This is not the evaluation, okay? So let's let's make mistakes. Equivoquémonos ahorita. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eh, Sandra Corina, eh, Carla Gabriela, and me. Okay. Eh, number one. Pay per click advertising is a low cost method of targeting potential custom, customer. customers. Okay. Customer. It's a directing marketing activity towards. Towards. Okay. Towards. Direct towards. marketing activity towards. Okay. And number two is mm -hmm. email. Email marketing allow allows. Allows, ay, usted me dijo y se me olvidó otra vez. <laughs> allows, 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 allows to build, to build, to build customer loyalty. Legal. Okay. Email marketing. Uh, different. Después, eh, perdón que lo hice en español. Después pensamos algo diferente. Primero dijimos a uh, keep customer coming back. Uh -huh. But? Um, com coming back. And. Um, uh -huh. Potential customers. Potential customers. So what's the answer? C or D? What's the answer? Uh, two. Uh, two. Both. Both. Oh, both. Okay. C. Both. And possibly D. Okay. And number one, you said it was letter B. B. Right? Okay. Yes. Now, what about num group number two? Number three and four. Let's see. Uh, for uh -huh. number three, we think is the little H. Letter H. H. Okay, can you please read the example? Uh, this uh, the little E is niche. Mm -hmm. in, in the little H say the segment of the market that is that a company is focusing on. Okay, it's focusing on, okay. Now, can you read the, the, the number three, Esther? Our company. Our company blog help us connect with people our need, in our niche. In our niche, okay. Okay, now what about number four? We are not sure, but we think it probably uh, prospect are a uh, little D, potential customer. Okay, possibly. Okay, mm -hmm. letter D. <clears throat> Can you please read the sentence? Call calling. Call calling is a waste of time. We no longer use it to contact 
prospect. Okay, we no longer use it to contact prospects. Okay, very good. What about number five? Five and six. Uh, me, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, the biggest advantage of billboard ads is their vis visibility. Visibility, okay. What's that? Mm -hmm. This thing is the letter G. The ability to be seen. The ability to be seen. Okay. Oops, I don't like the letter D. Okay. Letter <clears throat> G. Okay. What about number six? In number six, SEO is a great way of driving traffic to our websites and generating leads. Um, we see. So so letter A, creating potential, potential <clears throat> customers. Creating potential, generating, creating. Very good. Generating leads, creating potential customers. Okay. What about number seven and eight? Mm. Number seven, social media marketing help us gain more exposure. Throw word of mouth. Mm -hmm. I think it's a number. Uh, item E. Item E. Item E. Okay. E. Only E, or you have a doubt? For because me, only E. For you, only E. And Sulma said another another letter, maybe. What was the other one, Sulma? I I can A. A, okay, possibly A. Okay, and what about number eight, Raul? Vaya? Number eight is for me, uh, number uh, item, 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 F. item, F. Return item, on investment. Okay. I, I don't know my, okay. my partner, what do you think? Okay, we're going to see right now the answers. Take, copy the answers here because you're going to use the vocabulary later. Take a screenshot or copy the answers quickly. Are you done? Yes? No? Yes. Yes? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Okay. So this is what we have. Remember we have a doubt on number two and number seven, right? Number two and number seven. Give me one question. One question, one moment. <laughs> Give me one moment here. Okay. Can you see my computer? No? Not yet? No, not yet. Okay, these are the answers. Let's see the answers here. Yes. The answers are in red. Look at this. 1B, 2C, 3H, 4D, 5G, 6A, 7E, 8F. Now, let's pay attention to this because sometimes these, you know, these um, phrases, creating customers, keep customers coming back, they are very similar. That's why it's confusing, right? That's why it's confusing, but you had two options. So one of them is good, right? And sometimes you can use it in different uh, situations, right? For example, when you say creating potential customers, right? It can also be, right? We no longer use it to contact prospects like potential customers or to create poten you know, potential customers. So that's the confusion, right? But you did a really good job. So you an applause to yourself. Very good. Right. Now it's difficult. Yes, it's difficult. But that's that's why you're doing this, right? So you can learn more. Did you copy the answers? Yes? Yes. Yes? Yes. Do you have questions? Yes. Yes, okay, Fatima. Ah, uh, no, no, no. 
<laughs> yeah, I copy the answer. And I was like, what's your question? <laughs> okay, now, okay, do you have a question, guys? <laughs> no, no. No yet, okay. If you have a question, don't worry, you can ask, okay? You can ask questions. Now, we're going to see a little bit more of you know, we're going to lower the English level right now. We're going to lower the English level. And we are going to see adverse of frequency. I need you to remember this vocabulary, okay? I need you to remember this. I need you to remember this. Because we're going to use something very simple right now. Look at this. Do you know adverse of frequency? No? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So with, this is going to be very easy. Right now I have very easy examples for you. Now we have adverse of frequency, right? We use adverse of frequency to tell how often something takes place, right? Look at the example. So this, what I got here, sorry, I'm gonna use another color. Okay, what I get here, right, is the percentage on how often you do the things. For example, in my case, I can say I always wake up at 5.30 a.m. in my case, right? I always wake up at 5.30 a.m., even Saturday and Sunday, right? So that's what I say. So I say this, that this happens 100% of the time, right? And then you say, mm, I usually, I usually take a shower at 7 a.m. So, usually. 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 so sometimes I may take a shower at 8 or at 5 a.m. <laughs> or I don't take a shower, right? So in here, what I want you to do is look at how you can use, right? If you say, for example, I never, uh, Raul, Raul, for example, can say, Raul never eats meat, meat. meat. Right? right? Very good. Raul never eats meat. So we say never eat 0%. Never. Right? It's Listen 0%. Right? Now, we're going to use this, what I got here. These are the adverse of frequency that we're going to use. No and look here on the on the examples, right? The adverse of frequencies are here: subject, adverse of frequency, oh, verb, and complement. Do you remember that Maria yesterday she gave us the order, right? So the adverse of frequency is going to be between the subject and the main verb. So subject. Adverb frequency, main verb, and then the complement, right? That's that's what we get. We have the adverse of frequency always, usually, usually, normally, normally, generally, generally, often, often, often frequently, 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 sometimes, sometimes. sometimes Occasionally, occasionally, seldom, 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 rarely, rarely, rarely never, never. never. I can say I rarely watch Salvadoran news. I rarely watch Salvadoran news. Or I can say I, I always check Twitter for Salvadoran news. For example, right? This is an example that Maria gave me. Very good. So, do we understand adverse of frequency right now? Do you have yes. a question? Questions? No. Are you sure? No, at the moment. Okay. Esther, you said no. yes? Yes. Okay. What's your question, Esther? No, it, I understand. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. Mm, okay, today you're playing with me. <laughs> okay. 
Now, so we have this, we are going to create examples, right? If we create examples, right, with this adverse of frequency, and some, right now you can see that in the example, we have, sorry, we have the adverb of frequency with subject, adverb of frequency, and verb, right? Now, uh, Francisco, what would be an example that you can give me with adverse of frequency? Um, Just one. Okay. Usually, um, I usually visit, visit the Spain, but I never buy nothing in this country. Okay, I usually visit Spain, but I never buy anything from the country. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Okay, so 90% of the time you go to Spain, right? So it's a lot of money. Okay, very good. That's a good example, Francisco. <laughs> what would be another example? Okay. Choose one. Um. Another person? Edwin. Edwin, 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 very good. Mm -hmm. He is an hour okay, tall. I, because I, no. Go. Okay. I I'm, I'm sometimes play um, basketball um, <coughs> on the week. I sometimes play basketball on the week, okay? During the week, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, during the week. Uh, during the week. On the very week. Good. On the week. On the weekend. Okay. And during the week. Very it's good. Is incorrect? Yes. <laughs> so we say during okay, the week. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> another one. Choose another person, Edwin, because they are falling asleep right okay, now. Okay, Sandra I Corina. To... Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. Um, I often swimming after work. I often swim, swim after work. Swim after work. I often swim after work. Okay, that's a lot of time. Okay, very good. You go to El Café Talón. Okay, good. I, I often okay. swim after work. Okay, very after good. Work. Another okay. person. Um, Sulma. Sulma. I never play soccer in my life. Okay, very good. I never play soccer. Okay, very Why? good. Why? <laughs> Why? We, okay. we, need, we need to invite you to play soccer one day because <laughs> she doesn't like <laughs> soccer and she doesn't play. Okay. Now we're going to see. Do you have a question about the adverse of frequency? No, maybe. No. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. According to your book, we are supposed to use right this adverse of frequency to indicate how often an action takes place, right? For example, we often change the menu. We always give away from, you know, promotional items. But these are very simple sentences, right? So what can be a sentence that you can use with, you know, these adverse of frequency? Because here we have like five, but here you have more, right? You have more. So I, you know what? I would like you to take a screenshot of this so you can remember the ones that we're going to use. I take a screenshot and then we're going to use them and we're going to try to use the new vocabulary. Right? Mm. For example, in my case, I can say, um, I sometimes, I sometimes use sometimes. social media marketing for my business, right? You see one example? Very easy, right? I'm using the new vocabulary and I'm using adverse of frequency, right? I sometimes, or you can say, I always use Instagram for my new company, right? So you're using all the vocabulary that we have been practicing with adverse of frequency, 
right? So we're going to make a small exercise. Did you take a screenshot of this? Yes. Yes, yes? okay, very good. Oh, one more thing, I forgot. Okay, now here, if you see, the adverb frequency is always like in the middle, right? Subject, adverb frequency, and verb. But sometimes you will see the adverb frequency at the end, sometimes, right? Sometimes. We can say, <laughs> we change the menu sometimes, right? So there are some others of frequency that can be used at the end too. Change the menu sometimes, right? Just in case you see some of some examples, right? That you see the adverse of some of the adverse of frequency at the end is because we can do this, right? Not for everything. For example, sometimes it's very useful at the end. Right? Very good. Now, let's make examples, right? We're going to write in groups. We're going to write only, right now, um, three, six, how many people I have? Let me see. I have 14 people. We're going to work in groups of Two, we're going to work in pairs right now. Since we're going to work in pairs, right? Each pair is going to create only four sentences. Let's suppose I'm working with Sulma. Sulma and I are going to create four sentences, right? Not eight. It's going to be four for the whole group, right? Is that clear? Yes? Now we are going to try to use the new vocabulary, all the new words that we know, right? In the four sentences using adverse of frequency and the new vocabulary and the things that you do in your company. Is that clear? Yes? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. Sometimes? Yes. Okay. Let's start then. Let's start. We're going to start working right now. Let's get together and let's write the examples. A, a la pantallita esa última que presentó, creo, o no. Teacher, is the page 222, the book? Yes, but that, that is, that's very easy for you. <laughs> so, you, you are going to use, you're going to use, uh, Maria, uh, I'm sorry. you are going to use the adverse of frequency, right? On page 22, you can see some adverse of frequency, right? That's good that you can see always, seldom, seldom, rarely, sometimes. But we have others that I just show you. Let me, oops, sorry. Mm. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Can you see my computer? Yes. Yes. Okay. We have this too. Right, these are some adverse of frequency. This plus this, right? So you have more options, right? And you can make examples like this, very simple examples, or you can use the vocabulary that we have practiced, right? For example, you can say, um, in my company, Ellington can say, uh, in my company, we always use websites to promote uh, the products, right? Um, oh, you see, right? Okay. Very simple example. It's okay say, teacher, it's okay say, uh, in my company is 
always use email for communication. Very good. That's perfect. In my company, or you can say, I always use email for communication with my teachers. Right? Another example. Okay, okay very good. That's great. More questions? Mm -hmm. No, teacher. No? Okay, okay no. very good. Si el audio no le funciona, trabaje con el Linton por chat, ¿ok? Si acaso le voy a Sí, fallar. fíjese que por eso me salí porque de repente ya no oía ni me ni podía hablar entonces tuve que volver a entrar ah oh, ahí pero fue I, rápido ah ok. ni se dio cuenta verdad no <risa> para qué le dije <risa> ahí me va a aparecer después <risa> sí pero fue por eso porque mm, eh, el sonido se me fue de la de la computadora y no podía oír ni me ni podía hablar oh ok. <risa> no parece okay. que that happens that happens a lot so no worries, okay? Uh, so I will go to another group so I can continue working, okay? See you. Okay, thank okay. you. Ah, uh, pues el team. I always, mm -hmm. I always targeting, targeting is a kind of looking for, right? Or something like that. Mm, I don't know, but I like could be to be. I always create potential customers. Ah, that's another one. I, know, for you. I always, I always create potential customers. I'm generating leads. No sé si puede ser así. Okay. I always create. I always. I always mm -hmm. creating potential. Creating potential customers. Customers. Mm -hmm. Because could be like this. Because I am generating because. leads. Yes, it's an option. Uh -huh. Because mm -hmm. I'm a okay, good. I'm, 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 I'm going to write it right. Mm -hmm. I'm general. Write it, write it. Very good. Hmm. Potential. Potential customers. Teacher. Hello. <laughs> in this, in this, uh, how do you say percentage? Percentage. Thank you. In, in this percentage, where is hardly ever? Rarely. Okay. Rarely. Like, ah. Allá cuando San Juan bajo el dedo. Okay. Rarely. What else? Um, for example, we, in my company, we hardly ever make cold count. Cold, cold, cold. Calling. Uh, cold calls. Cold calls or cold calling? Cold calling, okay. In my company, we hardly ever make cold calling. Very good. Write it down. You see, these examples are perfect. Yeah, this is not the the media to to make sales in my company. It, they, there is not work for for us. Media doesn't work for you. Yeah, uh, call uh, call calling. Call calling. Oh. No, no, at all, no. Do you have the other example, Anthony? I sell the one online. Ah, okay. Sorry? I seldom go online. That's what he said. You're very good, Antonio. That's a good example. Okay. I seldom go online. Okay. Um, like another. Uh, we always we always check emails. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah, but give more information, Melvin, because that one is very simple, and I know that you can do more okay. more examples. Uh -huh. With the, more the new vocabulary, you said. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Because uh, we always check emails, 
Mm, yeah, that's good. That's perfect. But I want you to 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 challenge more, right? Okay. More difficult. Okay. Mm. Oh, we always refresh the social media marketing in our company. Uh, you know the the post in Instagram or in, or in Facebook. We always how do you say actually sir? Update. Uh, we always update the social media post. We always update social media post. Yes, because in, in our company the prices change every two weeks. Okay. The, the, the fuel prices. Okay, so you see you give more information. You see here, because look at the chat, because in the company prices always change or do they change very often every two weeks okay so that will be often mm -hmm. prices because in the company prices change often okay okay i'm yes, gonna sir. okay yes antonio uh, i rarely miss work I rarely, uh huh. Miss work. Oh, I rarely miss work. Okay, perfect. You see, I'm putting the information on the chat so you can see it too. Very good, Antonio. I rarely miss work because if not, I will get fired. <laughs> what does it mean, this one, teacher? Miss work is that you always go to work. Mm, okay. For example, in my case, I go to work from Monday to Friday. If I miss, if I miss work, right, I can get fired. Right? It means that my job, <laughs> I can get, you know, because I can get fired. Fire okay. means that my boss is going to tell me, bye-bye, Sylvia, mm -mm, I don't want you anymore. Right? Very good. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Do you have the four examples? Yes. Okay. I right. think we're going to go with the others. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello? Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Very good. Hello. So let's share here some of the examples. Right? Let's see here what you what you have. This is just like examples, right? But tell me, I was listening to some groups and you have very, very nice examples right now. So what do you have? It says write sentences about the activities you do at your workplace. So what do you have? I, I, I listened to some very nice examples. So tell me. Who wants to participate? Okay. I occasionally come back my work at ATM. Okay. Let's see here. Always. I okay. Uh, Suma, I, can you repeat? I occasionally come in back my work at eight pm. Come back from my work from my work at eight pm. Okay. I occasionally is this the correct of spelling of occasionally? Is it correct? Occasionally. Tulma? Sometimes. Is this correct? 
Solo lleva una S. Okay. Thank you. Just with one S. Occasionally. Okay, very good. Maria, you were saying your example. What's your example? Always. <clears throat> for always. I always email for communication with my parents. Parents? Partners. My partners. 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 Email for communication with my partners. With my partners. Okay, very nice. What's another one? Me? Yes, Maria? Sheldon. Sheldon, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Ellington Sheldon drink a coffee in his work. <gasps> really? Yes, it's pecado. Coffee? <laughs> I'm drinking coffee right now. Bien posteado. <laughs> In his work or workplace. Okay, in his work. Okay. Ellington. Okay. Qué valor. Okay. Edwin. <laughs> I have another. Um, I sometimes uh, pay to see pay per view. Pay to see pay per view <laughs> for the for the fightings or for yes, movies. For the oh, fightings. For fightings. Sorry. Yes, ah. for fightings. You have money. Because on <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> With my brothers. Okay, mm. okay. For mm. okay. But it's sometimes. It's, it's not always. <laughs> not always. It's very mm, okay. You sometimes it's very expensive. Okay. Yeah, it's very expensive. <laughs> okay, very good. Mm. Another example, people. Very good, Edwin. Maria, Sulma, very good. What's another example? Never, for example. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, Maria. Maria, she never. Uh, <laughs> Maria? Drink a beer <laughs> in your work. In my work? No, in you. No. She, in, in she never work. drink a beer. Uh -huh. A beer in your work. In my work. No, in your work. In her work. In her work. In her work. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. In her work. Her work. Who, who did? Who did? Okay. <laughs> but, you, but, but you should try, and, Maria. It's good. Ah, no. <laughs> es porque él entonces no toma café. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very good. What's another one? Antonio, tell me your example. Rarely. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I remember. Rarely, you born. I rarely. Do you remember a little bit? Miss work. Okay, I rarely miss work. Very good, Antonio. I rarely miss work. Okay, very nice. Another person, one more. Come on, people, don't be shy. Corina, uh huh. Okay. Um, uh, Raúl sometimes goes to the supermarket. Mm. Oh, goes to the supermarket. Raúl is like what? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Raúl seldom goes to the shore. Shore. Okay. Seldom goes to church. To okay. church. Okay. One more. Okay, okay, I I never finish work at four o'clock. At four o'clock. Okay, very I never good. Finish. Um, I always start he works seven o'clock. Start work at seven o'clock. Okay, very good. Now. Was it difficult to practice this vocabulary, people? Was it difficult? Was it easy? So-so. Uh, So-so, okay. Is there, why yeah. so-so? What are your questions, Esther? Uh, I have to remember that when I talk about me, uh -huh. the verb is uh, without S. Yeah, and exactly. When I talk about he or she, or 
I think they. Uh -huh. The verb is with an net. Okay, very good. But you see, you, you did perfect. Give her an applause. She remembers. Very good. Right? She says that she doesn't remember, but she remembers. Very good. <laughs> okay, very good. So, do you have a question before we move on? People? Yeah. No? Are you sure? Yes? What is the difference between rarely and seldom? Mm, there's so much difference. Actually, uh, I think... Uh, Melvin actually asked me about that, right, Melvin? Right, because yes. in the in the in the exercise here, let me show you here again. Here, can you see my computer? Yes. Yes. Okay. Here, when we have rarely and seldom, look at Gabriel. Right. It's just very, very, very close, right? It's very close when we have seldom and rarely. And also we can add, actually add over here in one of the two, hardly ever, right? Like you, you know, hardly ever, it's like this, seldom or rarely. I, for example, in my case is, Mm, I hardly ever now in, in the in, in the quarantine. I hardly ever go outside. Okay. Right? I, I I'm always in, in this in the house, but inside the house. I hardly ever go to the to the supermarket, right? So that's what we I'm going to use it. But if you see, they are very very similar, Gabriel. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah. You're welcome. That's a great question. Very good. Very good. Another question, people? No Another question. question? No questions? Are you sure? Teacher. Yes? I read that always, mm -hmm. uh, the use of always, uh -huh. is, oh, always is in the, in the, in the first of the sentence, I don't know, the... In the beginning. In the beginning, yes, or yes. no. But in this case, sometimes when we use it like that, we are not going to use a specific subject. We, we usually uh, use it with you. For example, I, I can say this. Okay, let me put here, there. Very good. Look at this example. Always check your mail, check your email before 9 a.m. What am I doing here? How do you call this in English? This is an imperative sentence, so you're giving an order. You're given an instruction, right? So this is correct. I always check your email before 9 a.m. Well, what is the subject here in this sentence? What do you think is the subject? This is a subject that is, you know, only in our mind right now. It's not there, but it's, it's going to be you, right? But you don't write it. You only put that in your mind, right? So that's when we put it here, always, right? That's when we can use, for example, always at the beginning of the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. Remember that when we have examples of adverse of frequency, we have exceptions. And in English, exceptions are very important, right? So very good, maybe. Right? Very good. Do you have another example, in Melvin, that you read with always? Uh, yes. What's the example? Um, it's from Jose Antonio. Okay. They always change the blog of the company. They always change. Change the... or refresh. Oh, oh, update. You said update. They always update 
the blog of the of their company. The company's blog, okay. Company. The company's blog. Okay. Now we can also put this here, Melvin, and we can put here. Look, we can put here. They update the company's blog always. Mm. Ah, another example, mm. right? right? You can put it also at the end, right? It's they the update the com yeah, and it's the same meaning. You have the same meaning. Just the pronunciation changes the intonation of the sentence, but then the meaning is going to be the same. Mm. Okay, very good. Another example, another question. You don't have questions? Question. Question. Yes, Antonio? It's never like ever. Never? It's never like ever. Um, no. No. For example, in this case, very good, Antonio. That's a good question. Right? Never is a negative form, right? It's a very negative form that we can say, for example, uh, mm, I never eat, let's say, I never eat meat after 7 p.m., right? When we say this, we know that the sentence is a negative sentence. Right? That's a, a negative sentence. We can also use, use ever, right? But ever is when you have done something up to today. I, um, for example, we can say in a negative form. Oh, it's here. Sorry. It's here. I hardly ever eat. I hardly ever go uh, to the to the beach. Right now, if we want to have this sentence, Antonio, with a negative meaning, we must use this one. Right, we need to use hardly and ever together, so it's negative. Right. So once we use it like this, right but they have to be always together. So it's hardly lost ever. If we only have this one, I ever go to the beach, that doesn't make sense. That is incorrect, right? Because ever is to say things in present perfect, right? It's to say things in present perfect most of the time, right? So it needs to be always with hardly ever. So it can have a, me a negative meaning. Very good, Antonio. That's a great question. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Now, another question today, guys. Questions? Do you have questions? No? No. No. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. The forum for tomorrow is going to be very easy, okay? The forum for tomorrow, what we're going to do is the following. Look at what we're going to do. We're going to do the same exercise that we're doing in the class, okay? So we're going to put this. We're going to go to the website. Look at what we're doing. So tomorrow you can go, oh, no meeting, no meeting, no meeting. Can you see my computer? No miren, no miren. No miren las notas, no miren las notas. Ok. For tomorrow, right, on the forum that you're going to have for tomorrow, what we're going to do is that we're going to talk about adverse of frequency. Ok. Now, I'm going to put here the forum right now so you can remember what you have to do. It's very important that you complete the forum every day. So this is what we're going with Mr. Science. Okay. This is what we're gonna do. Look. Right activities use the following adverse of frequency. We're going to use the same adverse of frequency that we have here. 
and we are going to have the same information. Of course, these are examples, right? You can, you already have your examples for today, right? Melvin has the examples, Antonio have his examples, right? Everyone here has their own examples, right? So that's what you're going to do in the forum for tomorrow. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, very simple, right? Look, it's done. Right. Now, any questions? Mm, no. No. Okay, let's let's switch to Spanish because it's very important. Ahora que ahorita que estamos acá en el, en el portal, por favor, necesito que completen Cada una de las actividades, vamos a hacerlo un poquito eh, en español. Lo voy a ir para que veamos todos acá. Si se fijan, ¿o ¿todavía pueden ver mi compu? No. Sí. Sí, eh, ok. Miran eh, inglés principiante módulo 6. No, solo la presentación. No. Ok. What about now? No, no, se, no, se, no se estaba viendo. Y no me ahora dicen sí. usted. Ahora, ah, ahora sí, ve. Ajá, okay. iba a explicar. Yo iba a explicarles y no me dicen. Mira. No. Yo estoy le he Ah, lo siento. De, de videoconferencia number eight. It has already the forum sí. here. No estaba. Right. Pero ahora sí. Ocho, nueve, diez. Sí. Y esta semana tienen que hacer un midterm, señores. Por favor. Eso les quería decir, tenemos un minuto todavía. Ya está el foro acá, miren, de lo mismo que acabamos de hacer. Estos son los ejemplos de los address of frequency, pero ustedes tienen más. Entonces, okay. lo que van a hacer es y, hacer, y, hacer los mismos ejemplos que hicimos en la clase, los vamos a poner acá, ¿ok? Y okay. lo vamos a escribir okay. ahí. Sí, en el okay. foro. Tienen okay. que completar todos los foros de, de todas las semanas para que se completen, por favor. Es bien importante que lo hagan. Porque al final de la semana 2 tenemos un midterm. Y el midterm tiene cuatro partes. Okay. Si no completan las, las tareas, no van a poder hacer el midterm. Y el midterm es due, o sea que está pendiente para el sábado. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, ya lo voy a dejar ir porque son las 10 y tengo la otra clase con los que van a hacer preguntas. Si es que hay preguntas, eh, a las 10 de la noche. Entonces los dejo, descansen, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, bye. See you, bye-bye. 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 See you, Tom.